Festen or The Celebration from 1998 is directed by Thomas Vinterberg and stars Ulrich Thompson as Christian, Thomas Bo Larsen as Mikkel, and Paprika Steen as Helene. Devastating family secrets are revealed when Christian, Mikkel, and Helene reunite at their family's hotel to celebrate their father's 60th birthday. Christian is a successful restaurant owner in Paris. He has come back home for the celebration because he feels it is his duty. Despite the references others make to his being a mischievous child, Christian is the most restrained character of the first act. As we learn more about him, however, we discover that he has been restraining himself for too long. Helene is an anthropologist and the black sheep of the group. She's haunted and almost driven mad by the things she refuses to acknowledge about her family. Eventually, she realizes that some secrets are not worth keeping. Mikkel fawns for his father's approval and sinks to incredible lows to protect his family's honor. He is a ridiculous man-child, a drunk and a womanizer. I want to dislike him, but his naive idiocy makes his actions somehow redeemable. He really doesn't know any better, or perhaps like Helene, he's been unable to. This is a Dogma 95 film, the first one ever. What is Dogma 95? It's a manifesto written by Lars von Trier and Thomas Vinterberg that lays down rules for making films, which strives to free them from unnecessary adornments. Dogma means dogma, as in rules, and 1995 was when they were written. The rules for making a Dogma 95 film are as follows. No props not found on set. No sound recording off set. The camera must be handheld must be in color, no special lighting effects, no lens filters, no gratuitous action sequences, films must be set here and now, no genre films, must be shot in academy format, the director must not be credited. Vinterberg and Trier believed that if a film were to follow these rules, it would be forced to rely entirely on a solid story and exceptional performances. The celebration is proof that they were onto something. The celebration was shot on DCR PC3s, which is insanity. It was basically the first flip screen camcorder ever. It had a 4 megabyte memory card and an effective video resolution of 340p. The director of photography was Anthony Dodd Mantell, who's known for his work on 28 Days Later, Slumdog Millionaire, and the most beautiful film I've ever seen, Antichrist. Although the resolution of the images is low, there are some remarkably imaginative shots in this film. Mantell demonstrates that composition is more important than resolution, and that anyone with a smartphone can technically make a beautiful film. At first the handheld aesthetic feels amateur, but when you let this thing roll it begins to draw you in. You begin to feel like a spirit watching these characters come apart. I just wish this film was made post-2010 and shot on an iPhone. The low resolution really isn't that distracting after 15 to 20 minutes though. Because this is a dogma film, all of the music and folly is performed on set by the actors. There are a lot of musical moments in the film because of this self-imposed limitation, but not having known anything about dogma going in, it didn't seem unnatural at all. This film isn't a musical, it's just that this family likes to sing, dance, and play the piano. It's perfectly realistic, and it gives the film another, much needed dimension. The celebration is for those who are tired of the formulaic nature of big budget Hollywood blockbusters. I'd recommend it to those interested in dogma filmmaking and black comedies. It's a unique film that provides an experience you can't get anywhere else. I give the celebration five stars. Thanks so much for watching my review. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and share it around. If you'd like to say anything about the film or my review, or you'd like to recommend a film for me to review, please leave that in the comments section below. If you'd like to see more reviews like this in the future, please subscribe to my channel.